Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name's Taylor. For any of you who are new and don't know already, uh, it is a lovely Saturday afternoon and spring is fast approaching. Our hillside going down into the abyss of the gully is coming to life. We got all these little whatever these weeds are. And then this darker stuff right here, if you can see it under all the leaves, that's mint. And very soon, this entire section here will be overtaken with mint. So it smells pretty good once it does that. But it is nearly spring, which means it is time to start thinking about getting the old tracker back out on the water for pre-spawn bass fishing. It's been living under here since sometime last fall, I think, when I had it out. Um, and it's a little dirty. It's not too bad. The pollening hasn't started yet, but some of these little, whatever these things are, have blown in it. A couple leaves needs to be, needs a good cleaning. But I also need to finish this little extension that I did on it. I didn't want to spend like thousands and thousands of dollars on this carport, so I got one that's just barely long enough to actually cover the entire boat. But like either the front or the back needs to kind of stick out from under a little bit. So my solution to that was tying the tarp to this last rib so that I could cover the back end of the boat so it wouldn't get all wet. But then I just kind of left it there and it did its job. It kept the engine protected from the sun and kept the back of the boat, boat dry all winter. I want to kind of stretch it out because now I have my old uh, lawn tractor, my old John Deere back over here. I'd loaned it to a buddy when a couple years ago when we moved out of our last house because we moved in with my parents and I didn't have any real use for it to just be sitting around. Uh, and he was he was interested in, in purchasing it. So I loaned it to him for a while and then I got it back from him last year when we moved in here or after a while after we moved in here. So I have nowhere good to store that other than right there, which of course is very much in the way for pulling the boat in and out. But if I extend this tarp back properly, I'll have room for that. We have a big auger that normally sits underneath here and a couple of these job site boxes for on our job sites if we're building an addition or a deck or something um, at, at work where uh, we want to be able to store tools closer to the job site. And I was just out here earlier kind of thinking through how I could, I already have one idea that I thought of a while ago that I could do to sort of hold this thing up, but then I had another idea uh, while I was out here this morning before I turned the camera on. So that is what I'm going to start with and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll fall back to this other, this other plan that I have. Also need to clean up my shed a little bit. That's a project for another day. This is what I need. I don't even remember what I bought this for, but I never used it. I think it'll do the job just fine for what I'm trying to do out here. What are you going to be filming today? Huh? What are you filming today? I'm trying to fix this tarp. Oh, the tarp.
Ta-da! Time will tell if this works well. This is quarter inch, quarter inch, uh, uh, just like rope basically. I don't remember the specs on it, but four of them running out to trees as anchor points. But it works pretty well, I think. A nice accessible area that's well covered. <laughs> Girls are playing with the extra rope. <laughs> So now I need to go to the store and get some oil for the old 115 Pro XS Merc back there on the on the boat and probably we'll go ahead and actually pull it up here in the driveway and do a little bit of cleaning, some power washing and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty good. I did I power wash like I emptied and power washed the whole boat last summer so like the carpet and you know all that stuff so i'm not going to do that again right now it does need to be vacuumed out so i think that's what i'm going to do right now okay it's a little later in the afternoon now uh when i went inside to look up what oil and filter and stuff i needed to go get i decided to just order it all online instead of going to get stuff somewhere um in case the local places didn't have the the correct uh you know oil filter specifically for this uh, mercury engine so ordered it it'll all come in next week but it's a lovely uh afternoon turning into an evening now and this this little one here likes to collect sticks and make forts, forts in the yard so we're gonna have a little bonfire so that little pile right there used to be a, a little house but i need to make a bigger one yep it fell apart so now we're gonna make a little bonfire to help clean up the yard a little bit we've thrown as we've cleaned up the yard we've kind of thrown a lot of dead branch stuff into the edges of the woods over or the edge of the woods over the last year or so so we're gonna clean it up a little bit get rid of some stuff so pretty much that whole little pile there and all this kind of fresh junk at the top of the the leaf pile here is from the two trees that used to be here yep. in the middle of the yard. There was one here, and there was one there. We decided to cut them down, I think it was like last July maybe, July or August. Um, I did set up the GoPro and film a little bit. I just wasn't vlogging at the time, but I did film it for like home video or whatever. I, I like to film a lot. Um, I've noticed that kind of both the YouTube channel and then also I just like to document things because it's fun to go back and look at them, you know, years later uh, as you grow older and, you know, remember good memories, usually, hopefully, sometimes that are not always the best, but as I really enjoy going back and watching videos uh, from the past, uh, especially when the kids are young and stuff like that. So most none of that exists on YouTube, of course, when the kids were, you know, little, little itty bitty children's. But I do enjoy going back and watching stuff like that. And we actually kind of sit down as a family sometime and watch old home videos. So that's why I set up and filmed. Actually, I think I had Lindsay holding the camera <laughs> while I was cutting down those trees. I was holding the camera. Yep, you were. Yeah, that's gonna fall down toward us. And then we're gonna have to run back. Yeah, once it starts falling, run back.
So we got our little fire here going. You know, like I said, some of this stuff is not dead, and it's not been dead that long, so it's not going up super fast, but it's going. And we're sort of helping over here. I'm trying to let it come. And also this this is what I call smoke draw drawings. Smoke drawings. I'm trying to light this candle. <laughs> so I can roast all Let's it. let's keep what getting let's smoke. make that pile of sticks <coughs> to go fall. in here. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Well, it was already lit. Well, how you get it bigger? How you get it bigger? It's bigger. Hopefully, these trees are catching fire with all these lit things. Hopefully not. What? <laughs> well, it'll all be out by the time it hits the ground. Yeah. Sun is officially down. Girls are still playing. So we're gonna sit out here for a little while longer. Let this sucker burn down and I will be back uh, sometime next week when the stuff comes in to change the oil on the boat and then we'll be getting it taken out real soon. Let's light 